Hello everyone and welcome back to Cult of the Lamb. We're picking right back up where we had left off for the most part. I've done a little bit. I cleaned up the place a little bit because it was absolutely filthy. Um, I built up this lumber yard as well as a stone mine just so that way we actually can... Oh, one of my beds broke. Oh, that's nice that you can just refix it right there. Um, but yeah, I've cleaned up a little bit. Natty's still sick, but he's on bed rest. You can see it's slowly going down now that we have the area all cleaned up. I made sure everybody was all fed also because that was a bit of an issue. What can I do for you, trash man? Great leader, when times are tough, we can cook grass meals. Followers won't like it, but it beats starving. Try it now. Make trash man eat grassy gruel? Why are you willingly wanting to eat grassy gruel? Let's make one grassy gruel. Mmm, delicious, trash man. Wait, no, you're supposed to be eating the grassy gruel. Don't make somebody else eat that. No, 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 no. Can I make you eat the grassy gruel? Um, okay, perfect. He's eating. I was worried for a second there. I was like, hold up, you just had me make... <laughs> That crap, and then you're gonna have somebody else eat it instead? Wow, you did it? Truly, you are without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. Why did you enjoy me making crap for you? You know what? Not gonna question it. Got a stone fragment. I lost faith for making him eat that, but I also got more faith. Seems logical. Cool. Um... Let's see if we can get some upgraded beds while we're here. Might as well have them get all built up. They can kind of build them up themselves. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of these quests. So I'm gonna unlock this crown ability real fast. Crown, okay, what are my options? I can get resurrection when killed on a crusade run for the first time, sacrifice a follower to be resurrected. Oh, that sounds rough. Once a day, eat a meal to receive a bonus heart. Focus whilst on a crusade run to instantly return to the base. That's pretty nice. Or receive a diseased heart at the beginning of each crusade run. Ooh, both of these are nice. I, I haven't really had much cause to return in the middle of a run, so I think I'm going to go for darkness within. Because just one extra heart at the beginning, I mean, that's really nice. You have unlocked a new crown ability. You will begin each new crusade with a diseased heart. Diseased hearts damage all enemies in the room when you take a hit. Perfect. Um, why is this highlighted? Is there something else I have, or...? I don't actually know what I just clicked on. Sustenance. Instruct them on the liturgy surrounding their daily bread. Oh, I... Perform a ritual at your temple to declare a fast. Followers will not eat or be hungry for three days. Or unlock the feasting ritual. Throw a grand feast for your followers to refill their hunger and gain 25, plus 25 faith. Um, let's do fasting, just because food is a bit difficult at the moment. I'm not going to declare a fast right this second, but food is becoming a bit more difficult as we run along. Oh, do I have to declare it right now? I guess I do. Alright, we're fasting, everybody. <laughs> they all seem happy about it, at least. Man, there's so much to all of this. So there's possessions, work and worship. I probably should have looked through it a bit more before I just clicked on something, but it's not the end of the world. Awesome. So we can get Bane weapons, which have a chance to show up, or I can unlock Might of the Devout. Increase the starting level of weapons when you begin a new crusade. That will be nice. If I can start with level 2 stuff, especially like the level 2 dagger, that would be really nice. Alright everyone, I think I've kept your attention here long enough. We'll go and visit Pilgrim's Passage.
This is where the fish man was telling us we could get more fish. And food is kind of an issue right now. I was able to make um, like a meaty gruel using the fish. And just being able to have more food in general would be really handy. Just because my followers aren't dying or anything, but... Every time I go home, it feels like I'm just towing the line on having my people be fed and not be fed. I really need to make more farm plots, um, but everything costs money in this, and the only way to really get money is to, you know, just uh, go on more crusades. So I will get around to it for sure. Oh, what's going on in here? Wow, who dares enter our sacred house of light? Apologies, it's just that the lighthouse is getting dinner no matter how dimmer no matter how hard we worship, and the ships keep sinking on the rocks. No ships means no new pilgrims to walk the sacred path. <laughs> I like this guy flailing about. If only our leader was here, she would know what to do. We have not seen her since she went for a walk on the pier late one night. We begged her not to go. We all know of the teeth in the darkness, but she would not listen. Now we have no choice but to pray until the lighthouse is lit once more. All hail the mighty light. Our prayers have been answered. Thank you, O Bright One, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrims will return to our shores. For restoring the light, we pledge ourselves to you. We are your unworthy servants, mighty lamb. We will pray to you in your great light on this shrine. Please bathe in our adoration. So is this like a refillable devotion thing? Just an extra one? Because that's pretty nice. 15 wood for unlimited devotion. The lighthouse at Pilgrim's Passage is lit once more. Things seem to be changing around here. Guide us, mighty lamb, so I can buy a follower form. Have everybody look like this. That would be kind of cool. It looks a lot more culty for sure. Oh, great leader in light, what do you know about tarot cards? I cannot use them myself, but I find them often when walking by the sea. Even though they are half drowned or buried in sand, they do not tear a warp. Isn't that odd? Some say the cards reveal fate. I say the cards are 25 coins each. Interested? I'm broke right now, but... Fire projectile when you swing your weapon, harvest bonus resources, or 20% more damage during the day. I had a lover once who went to sea and never came back. They used to lay flowers by my door. Flowers suit the young and beautiful best. They have no place with me. Please buy them. They bring only sadness now. So you can buy new flooring. This is all decoration stuff. Um, I'll probably mess around with decorations one day, but I'm broke right now. Well, look what the tide dragged in. What are you just standing there for? Think I'm going to fish for you? I'm not one of your mindless acolytes. You're right, I'll fish for myself. Oh, it's like, um, Stardew, uh, fishing. Hmm, not so useless after all. Listen, perhaps we could help one another. I happen to have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things that a fish like me, uh, I mean a fisher man like me, has no use for. But to you, well, you look like you like valuable things. Below these waves lurk some of the hardest to catch beasts that have ever lived, and I've been trying for years. If you can snag them, these treasures are yours. Catch me a crab, a lobster, an octopus, and a squid. Take this as a gesture of good faith between two non-fish friends. Enemies have a chance to drop fish. <laughs> Interesting tarot card. Alright, what did I have here? Little shark man follower form. Ooh. There's my crab. Perfect. Whoa, it became night very quickly. Three minnows. Honestly, all of these fish will be helpful because they make food which is better than those berry meals, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna fish up a storm real quick.
Alright everyone, I am back. I did a bunch of fishing. I managed to catch both a crab and an octopus, so we're already halfway done with that quest. And I managed to catch a bunch of other fish also. So I'm just gonna queue up a bunch of meals so that way our people aren't gonna be starving anytime soon. Thankfully the cooking minigame isn't hard by any means. And this will just keep everyone happy. Um, it seems like there isn't an infinite amount of fish, which, I mean, that's to be expected. Parno has become gravely ill. Which one's Parno? Oh, over here. I need to unlock the, um... There's a, uh, latrine, so that way my followers stop pooping everywhere. They always do it, like, off in the corners, too, where I don't think to check. Up here you can see their happiness and then we want to keep this full as well because they get sick really fast if it's dirty whatsoever and don't get me wrong like people will die it's gonna happen but we want to prevent it as much as possible Natty is almost back to health though it looks like which is pretty good all right I've got two sick people but I actually didn't mean to travel there. Um, let's go on a crusade. We haven't gone on one in a little while. Been doing lots of base management stuff, but there's stuff to kill also. One of the four chains is broken. Now I don't think I actually have enough people for the next area. Rakshasa. Hello, you have so many mouths to feed, you must need some seeds. A cult leader is always good for business. So many hungry followers with growling tummies. I'll just set up here, and if you're in need of crops, you know where I am. You don't mind, do you? No, I do not mind. Um, I don't actually need seeds, though. <laughs> I have a bunch from my crusades. Oh yeah, earlier a bunch of spiders like showed up with um, materials at my base and I ran around smacking them with a broom so that way they would actually drop stuff. Hello there, friend. Winds of change blow, dost thou sense it? Around us the world creaks and turns. Afore it stood immobile, motionless centuries grow rust. Now, lest she hath fallen, and here upon the inhabitants of this land begin their fight anew to presume power. Ye shall not find them so easily dispatched again. Enemies in Darkwood have grown stronger. Okay. Tempest Gauntlets 4. That's a lot of damage, wow. Divine Blast for That upgraded, like, start thing. Very nice. Also, wow, these have quite the range on them. Are we all but players in the game of chance? Of course we are. Enemies have a chance to drop f fish, or when hit down to half a heart, all enemies will be dealt two damage. Let's just get more fish. All, it, all is as it should be, as it ever was, as it always will be. You know it, Clonic. Okay, they actually are, like, quite tougher. They were taking, like, I think two to three hits before. Now those guys were taking, like, up to five almost. What do we got here? Enemies will drop two times more fervor. Very nice. Ow. <laughs> that was silly of me, just letting myself get smacked. Well, I've completely wasted that disease heart already, but <clears throat> that's okay. Nature's necklace. Follower will harvest bonus resources if I give that to him. That's pretty nice. Maybe put that on, um, like, one of my people that are actually in either the lumberyard or the stone mine, just because we need those resources for literally everything. Ow, this guy is beating me up. I'm trying to get the the feel for these weapons. I've never used these gauntlets before, and they're 
not as fast as the um, sword and everything, but they're not horrible either. The axe just swings way too slow. Acquire lava flooring. Ooh, it's all... I know it's lava, but it looks demonic. Okay, what do we have? We have a house here, so we're definitely going down this path because I've never seen that before. Oh, but there's a house down there. That must be like a shop. Um, there's a follower symbol on this shop. Plus this is... We'll, we'll go down this path. Oh, got a challenge for me, Ratu. Sorry, just breaking all this stuff real quick and all that lovely grass so people can eat it. Hello there, Crusader. If you pass the next combat, combat rooms without using curses, I shall give you a gift worth having. But if you fail, then alas, not for you. Um, I Do I have any curses? Yes, you like? Maybe I keep this one. Buy Jubru for zero, 25. He's free? I mean, yeah, I'll take a free guy. Wait, was he free? I'm confused. That made it seem like he was free, but then I saw money. Oh, it brought me down to zero coins, I think. No, it, it did cost zero. There, there just must be an animation where it shows stuff. That was weird. Why did I get that 100% off? I love the crunch crunch of their little bones. All of these potential followers here. Does that count as a curse free room? It does not. Divine Inspiration Unlocked. Okay, hopefully I can buy the, um, the latrine like I was talking about, because as much as I love my followers pooping literally anywhere they want, um, it makes it really hard to keep the place clean, and it's starting to negatively affect me. All my people are getting sick. Perfect. Managed to do that room without a curse. I'm still not sure quite what they mean by no curses. I am a noob at the game and don't actually know what curses are. Sounds familiar. It's been a day or two since I played last, so um, not everything is as fresh as it was before. So I'm sure I heard uh, curses being brought up before somewhere. Why aren't you just something? You've completed the challenge. Hmm, what should you get? I think this is a decent reward. A blazing beacon, the large torch. That's actually what those guys had on sale, so it's a good thing I had no money for them to, to buy that because I was interested in it, but I'll take free stuff over expensive stuff any day. Okay, so was this a clonic room back here? I'm guessing it was. Yeah, or it's this guy. Crusader's Blade 5. Um, damage goes down, but speed goes up. I don't actually remember what the damage of mine is. 2.9. A drop of 1 damage for 0.2 speed. I think I'm going to pass on that, actually. And I don't like the axe, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with these gauntlets right here. Um, I'll be smart about this. I will recycle the blade, get that extra coin out of it. Awesome. Easy peasy. Alright, I think up next should be the boss. 
acquired flower arch, an archway of woven blooms and vines. Ooh, so pretty. Not exactly the vibe we're going for at our place. Not that we have any actual decorations currently, but I don't know. I want um, I want us to look like a, a demon's paradise once we're done. Okay, same deal, all kind of cruddy. That actually was a really nice um, shooting ability. I used that against Leshy in my last video, and it kind of was an MVP there because it dealt a bunch of extra damage. I'll show it off right now just to... Oh gosh, there is a lot going on. Oh my gosh, I can barely even see myself on the screen. Ow, I got hit by a bomb at the last second. 1.8, but speed is doubled. I do really like that Razor. I lose 1.1 damage, though. But, like, it's swing as fast as you can click, basically. I think I'm going to risk it for a biscuit for a 1.2 speed upgrade. Why not? I always go the wrong way. There's like double doors. One leads to treasure. One leads to more enemies. And I always do the enemy door first rather than buff myself before going and facing the enemies. It's not a huge deal, but it does usually cause me to take some extra damage because I wasn't as equipped as I could have been. Thankfully, this room seems to have taken pity on me and not beaten me up too bad. Bonus heart, cool. Okay, what was down here? Oh, it's this guy again. See, this is what I'm saying, like, there's always optional interactions and stuff in the opposite direction I go. Hapless Leshy, youngest of the five, twas his eyes he lost. Temperamental Heket with her throat cut neat. Cowardly Kal Amar's ears torn from his head, and Shimura, once the brightest of the five, till their skulls were split. See no evil, speak not, hear nothing, think none. The one who waits made it so. So they're all, uh. They're like the monkeys. Monkey sees no evil, hears no evil, speaks no evil. What on earth is this guy? Witness Agoris. Yeah, see, like... Oh, that was bad timing, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I've been here for, like, just a moment, and I already took out a third of his health, and it was almost all my fervor-based attacks. And I'm getting lots of extra fervor from the, uh the tarot card I picked up. Pick up all of this fervor, try to get as many of those attacks banked up as we can, stay away from the bombs. Get off as many hits as we can before he heads out. This definitely jumped up a little bit in intensity from the Leshy fight. Leshy was a bit of a pushover. I was joking around, I was saying like, oh, I don't think Leshy will be a pushover because, you know, it's one of the main bosses in the game, and then I absolutely trounced him. This guy is harder than Leshy, which, uh, that should be embarrassing for Leshy. You mess with the lamb, you get the horns. Alright, cool. I got two new followers out on this run. Um, 
What is the blueprint for? Do I get to see? A gold flooring. Ooh, very bougie. I have almost all of the floors unlocked. I got the Eye of the Witness. Don't know what that is, but... Now you have defeated the bishop of this area, you may continue onward. Greater rewards await the further you venture, but what, but beware, if you don't have the omnipresent crown ability, you will not be able to return to the cult until you reach another teleporter. Only continue onwards if you are prepared to leave your cult for a little while longer. I don't quite have that ability yet, so I think I'm going to hold off for now. Just because I am low health, I'm sure they are hungry, I've been gone for over a day. I got a bunch of food though, that should be nice. You see me here in chains, reduced to nothing, but it has not always been thus. I was bound to this wretched place by the bishops of the old faith. They betrayed me and left me to rot. Each of the four chains that bind me are guarded by one of the bishops. Destroy the bishop and you break the chain. Break all four and I will be freed. I gave you life a new vessel, and now you must repay the debt. You know what must be done. To defeat the bishops, you will need to become stronger. Sacrifice a follower to absorb more power. This will aid you in your quest to free me. Sacrifice of the flesh. Sacrifice follower to grow your strength and unlock new abilities and weapons. Higher level, level followers will be more valuable when sacrificed. Collect all of these bonus resources. I need to... There's so many things I need to unlock. I need to get, um... Scarecrows so these birds will... Back off of my food. I need to get, um... Latrines. Like, already the dirt bar is going down, so somebody took a poop somewhere again. Which, I mean, it isn't a huge deal, but... Everything, you know, goes tits up very quickly if you don't keep an eye on it. I didn't mean to water that. I'm trying to collect this. It's not my job to plant this stuff and water it as I water that. I have a farmer for this exact purpose. I will plant this stuff. He can water it. Give him something to do. Okay, back out of that, um, what do I have? I have, um, I guess I can get the Scarecrow. Where did I see that latrine? Fertilizer silo, harvest totem, missionary, oh my gosh, I hate that it does that. Um, cheaper rituals, janitor station, janitor station would be nice. I need two more divine inspiration though. I swore I saw a, uh... Whatever, I'll get the Scarecrow for now. I thought I had seen the latrine. Maybe I'm out of my mind. Let's go and immediately build one of those latrines. Hold up, bud. I will interact with you shortly. Scarecrow. Did I say build one of those latrines? I meant build one of these farms, or scarecrows. Gosh, my, I'm saying everything but what I actually mean. Okay, and then some farm plots. Let's build as many of these as we can, honestly. All of this should be under the scarecrow. And I would like just lots of food, so that way it's not always, Come on. <laughs> the system of choosing tiles, not the easiest. Perfect. What what do you want, man?
He was making a big deal about talking to me, and then he throws a fit. I go and try to talk to him, and then he goes and be more of a punk. Guy can't make up his mind. Alright, this will be the food corner. Lots and lots of this stuff. Alright, perfect. Lots of food here. You honor me, great leader. I am eternally grateful. Gained half a level for uh, that. Okay, cool. I have two new followers. Um, I want followers, but there was also that sacrifice thing that I had been reading about. Please, spare me. No promises, friend. Um, I don't know. We'll just randomize you. You're a rat. Your name will be... Um, rat Man. Oh. Why isn't it typing? It's being weird. There we go. Rat Man. Um, yeah. You're a coprophiliac, so you gain faith. I think that means they enjoy being filthy or something. You're naturally obedient, and you're sickly, so you heal slower. That's fine. You're a rat, you know. Makes sense that you enjoy being dirty. Um, let's have another stone person, honestly. We could use it. And then you, you were the boss that stood up against us. He's materialistic, and he's a coprophiliac. Congrats, welcome to the cult. Um, you can get on chopping trees. All right, I need two new beds. Wait, before we build those, let's build just two regular beds. Oh, oh my gosh. They do not make it easy to go diagonal in this. There we go. Wait, was that all I had? I'm out of wood, actually. That's surprising. Um, okay. Let's chop down a tree real quick, I guess. I just watched them, like, take a dump over here, I think. Guys, this is so gross. Clean up after yourselves. Your leader should not have to quite literally go after you with a broom. Okay, we need one more bed. I collected some wood, though, so we should have that. Perfect. And we will get that built up real fast. Awesome, let's get this scarecrow built up really fast so that way the birds actually leave our crops alone. Which I mean, we basically doubled our crops, so we're not going to be struggling anytime soon. But I would rather not have to deal with it at all. They're chopping down that tree, perfect. Let's make just as many meals as we can. Deadly dish, 75% chance of the follower dying instantly, 100% chance of dropping valuable resources. Well, I think I'll pass on that one for now. We don't really have the people to spare, as I was talking about sacrificing one of them not too long ago. All right, everyone, welcome back. Sorry for that cut I made right there. I needed to go and handle something real fast. What can I do for you, Parno? Please, leader, there are some folks who are starving and have no place to call home. We must let them join our cult. 
Recruit two starving followers. Sure. We have... Well, we had leftover food. This is a good opportunity to get two extra people to join, though. Um... Sure, your name is Majul. Ah, my mouse is being weird. We already have a unicorn. All right, 15% easier to level up and you gain faith upon re recruiting him. Sure, welcome to the crew, monkey guy. He's a natural skeptic. We will call you Joaron, and you will look like that. Okay, so we need two beds, and we need to feed them. We also are... Why did our filth level go up so quickly all of a sudden? Did everybody go and just use the restroom all at once? I want that um, janitor station is what I want. Doing so much housekeeping, it's like there isn't really time to do anything else. Who Who is sick? You are sick. I want you to go on bed rest. I just got that guy and he's already sick. They made this place filthy so quickly. Okay, it's a lot cleaner here now. I need some meals. Um, unfortunately, everybody ate up right before these guys got here, so congrats. You're going to be having some cruddy meals. I got faith for one of them joining, so this should balance out. There we go. Let's get the two beds built up. And I'm out of money now. Crud. It's always something, you know? But anyways, they will get that built up. Um, I think I'm going to go fishing some more, so... Uh, might cut back to after I have done that. Uh, actually, real quick, let's check this Divine Inspiration. What do we have? Offering statue. They can leave offerings in my honor. A prison or a tabernacle. Hmm. I don't know what I want. Outhouse, this is what I had seen. Give your followers somewhere to relieve themselves, so... I'll need one more upgrade before I can get that. Let's do this offering statue. Hopefully they'll give me money, because I need lots of this stuff. Next up is the refinery. Consecrate resources into like... So you can make those gold nuggets, I'm assuming, into gold bars because I've had those for a while. And then like planks and stone bricks, I'm assuming? Not entirely sure, to be honest. Actually, rather than cutting back to after I've done... Um, the fishing and stuff. I think I might just end the episode here. Uh, next time we come back, I'll have collected up a bunch more food and stuff. Um, maybe I'll build some more beds, go on a crusade or two, just get some of that grinding stuff out of the way so that way I don't have to do everything on camera. Um, but yeah, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I hope everybody enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Have a great one, everyone. Bye.